Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Tyler, great to meet you, man. Thanks for stopping by over here. It's more than just football, man. It's a livelihood. i gotta, I got to take care of these people that I love, man. Now, I thought that was a great moment on the show last night. Yeah, you know, what, what the game can bring to you, your, the opportunities to your family and, you know, your community back home, and uh, not only for yourself, but uh, you got to be able to respect the game and respect what it can do for you. And like I said, this is one, one opportunity that i got to take advantage of. Well, well, let's back up first. Did you see the episode of Hard Knocks? Yeah, I caught a little bit of it, most of it, yeah. Last yeah. night? Mm-hmm. You watched it last night? Did they have a viewing for the team, or how did that go down? No, nah, we were just uh, up in the room, and uh, my fiance texted me and said I was going to be on, so I... Went to the living room and, you know, flipped it on. Talk about coming from South Dakota State. You know, Chuck went to Tennessee. I went to Florida State, the Harvard of South, by the way. Uh, you know, and, and one of the jokes that the coach said is when you guys went to fan night, he said that, that you will be playing, and I know it's not true, but the fact that, you know, you come from off the grid, shall we say. Talk about what your job is here and what you're going to prove to people and why you're going to be around. Just that, you know, there's talent everywhere, you know, in, in this, uh, in, the, in the U.S., whether it's from a Division One AA, you know, there's some D2 guys out there that make it, and, uh, you know, put your mind to something, and, and if you really believe in it and you really work towards it, that, you know, anything is possible, you know, six years ago, I would have never thought I would be here, but it's something that I put my mind to, and, you know, determination, and uh, it drove me here. What's been the toughest thing about your first camp? Uh, just, that, you know, adapting to a lot of the techniques that we're the, the teaching here, um, you know, coming from a smaller school, you know, your coaching, I, I, great, I was fortunate to have great coaching, but, uh, um, you know, you do little things a little bit different in the NFL. You know, they expect a little bit more out of you. Um, yeah, the scheme is there to help you make plays, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a physical game. And um, right now, playing over uh, a tight end and a six technique, they kind of want you, you know, be, being able to play two gaps and come off and make a play. And that's something that uh, I need to work with the pad level and, you know, get better hands. And, you know, I think it'll come over time. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a struggle right now. Rookie linebacker Tyler Starr joining the Rick and Jamie show with Chuck Smith here from Flowery Branch at Falcons training camp. Um, it, Tyler, th- there's a lot of competition in, in, in your particular position group. Uh, talk about how competitive it is, uh, any trash talking that's going on. You know, are, are Warlow and Bartu second-year guys trying to haze you? What's going on, man? Uh, you know, as, as being linebackers in this game, you know, you, you're kind of the, you know, the dogs out there. You know, you got to be able to – you know, kind of do a little bit of a, a bit of it all, and uh, you know, as far as our camaraderie is as a linebacker core, I think uh, we're all on the same page. We all know that you know we have to communicate whether it's in pass dropping, you know, otherwise we're blitzing. But uh, uh, right now, it's all been I've been trying to soak up everything in from Beerman, uh, Massacre, and just you know, get any tip I can to you know become a better football player. Speaking of soaking it in, uh, Mike Nolan, you know, is one of the great minds. And I know you don't know. I mean, you know he's good, but Mike is one of the top five or six guys in all the NFL. When it comes to scheme, design, uh, and so that means he also runs a pretty complex defense. Talk about where you are with learning what he's doing, or are you still kind of swimming in some areas? Because I think we saw where you and you and the coach were talking on the sideline. You thought it was one thing, the coach said, "You know, it wasn't that." Read your keys. Yeah, uh, you know, communication is huge, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, what what Coach Nolan is so good at doing is uh, our defense is so athletic that we can run so many different defenses and do so much with it, but with different personnel. So, you know, with us sending guys from different places, dropping guys in different places that you normally don't see with the defense, that's, you know, that, you know, straight up, you know, this guy's a defensive lineman, this guy's a true linebacker. Um, Coach is going to put us in a position to make plays. You know, we're not going to have to rely on our talent sometimes to get a sack. You know, if, if we got, a, you know, a club rip to the B gap and we're sending an extra guy off the edge, he knows that, hey, you're going to be free. You know, be, be ready to make this play. You're not going to have to do anything but run off the field. Rookie linebacker Tyler Starr joining Rick and Jamie with Chuck Smith at Flowery Branch. I want to go back to what you were talking about, about you said six years ago, you know, you, you, you didn't think you'd be here and that kind of thing. Um, Chuck dreamed big. Jamie dreamed big. I've dreamed big. Is that part of it, is just dreaming it and trying to make that dream a reality? Yeah, I think, you know, I'm big on, uh, you know, being able to dream and, you know, have a vision of what you want your life to be like. And, you know, obviously part of my vision was to get here, but, you know, that's that's just that was just a step. You know, I want to do a lot of great things in this league. And, you know, number one is, you know, i got I got to make this team. You know, that's what I'm trying to focus on. So my vision now is, you know, what can I do to become the player that needs, you know, to help the Falcons win football games. Lovely wife, lovely family. Does it add more pressure? Um, I try not to look at it as a pressure. I mean, obviously, there's pressure to provide for my family, but I use it more for motivational tactics. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, you know, be blessed with a son and a fiancé at the age of 23, and 
Um, now I'm doing everything I can to, you know, make their lives a lot easier and, you know, give my son and family opportunities that I didn't necessarily have when I was a child. As a former player, a lot of times you pattern your game after other players. And that, to me, that's the quickest way to improve in the NFL. Jamie, whoever that might have been for you. Dwight Stevenson. Dwight Stevenson. I'm Ricky Jackson, Kevin Green. Is there a player that you look at that you think that has your size and speed and those kind of dynamics that you pattern your game after, maybe? St. Chuck Smith. No, no. St. Chuck that. Smith. He's, he's bigger, I, stronger, I, faster than me, Jake. <laughs> I, I was um, – <laughs> my, da- my dad being a you know Cowboys fan, and uh, I was a big Mark Swear guy, you know, okay. and also Julius Peppers. Um, you know, I, I, I watched a lot of those guys. You know, being able to get after the passer, big, strong, long guys. Um, I think you know, a lot of the qualities that we share. You know, being able to you know put stick a long arm in and get to the quarterback. Um, guys like that, you know, especially relentless effort, and obviously they've had success in the NFL. Uh, I try to you know take a little bit from everybody though. You know, Alden Smith is one of those guys that's real crafty. You know, doesn't have that super brute strength, but. Uh, you know, he finds ways to get the quarterback. Google Chuck Smith. <laughs> We've got yeah. Tyler Starr, That's rookie crazy. linebacker for the Falcons here at Flowery Branch on the Rick and Jamie Show with Chuck Smith. Who's the funniest guy in this team? Rasheed Hegman, by far. Why do you say? Everything he, everything he says, <laughs> his, his gestures, just how he goes about things. Yeah. You know, a heck of an athlete, a heck of a player. Just, just a funny dude. Just a good guy to be around. And what about from the coaching perspective? Uh, you know, who's the coach – one you don't want to hear from, and who's the coach you want to hear from? <laughs> I mean, coach Armstrong, you want to hear from because you want to know that he's, he's trying to help you out and he's on your side, but he's also somebody you don't want to cross because, uh, you know, he says in there, he goes, you don't want to see the other guy I got here. He gives us a nice guy, but, you know, <laughs> every once in a while that, that, that other guy comes out and you don't want to be targeted <laughs> for that other guy. Hey, Tyler, how about Des Southward's imitation of special teams coach Mr. Armstrong? That was spot on. That was spot on. <laughs> All right, guys. That was hilarious. That was funny. That was good. Tyler, we appreciate it, man. Yep. Uh, stay Thank healthy. You, Keep yes. rolling heads out there. Uh, go ahead and make this team and help the Falcons win a bunch of games, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it having me. All right, Tyler. God bless, man. Thank you. Tyler Starr, rookie linebacker appreciate for it, our Atlanta Falcons. Sports Radio, 92.9 The Game. Get in the game on Twitter at 92.9 The Game. On Facebook, slash 92.9 The Game. On YouTube, slash 92.9 The Game. On your phone, the free audio roadshow app. The website, 92.9thegame.com. Watch the game. Watch 92.9thegame.com. And listen at 92.9thegame.com. Sports Radio, 92.9 The Game.